Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 73 of Constructing Los Angeles Season 2. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Ready to continue to work on the city today. I'm just going to be working on the same building again today that we've been spending the last few episodes on. So I'm going to try to get some of the floors built today. I'm going to finish that staircase that I started last episode. Uh, let me just fly in here real quick. We'll go up this part and see if I can sneak through the hole. There we go. So we'll finish all this up today, making it, uh, you know, complete. This is what we were working on last episode. I would like to get some of the floors in, like I said, add a little bit more detail to the exterior, do some experimenting with that. And then we'll spend the rest of the episode from there working on the top here, trying to get that penthouse uh, coming together, I guess, like we did at the end of last episode. So let's get started. Uh, what I'm gonna do to start things off, I'm just gonna take like this uh, green wool and just build myself a little bit of an awning here. I, this, I have this part open and I just don't like it open like this. It just looks really bad. So I'm just gonna quickly build a little awning of green green wool here just to you know as a placeholder and maybe this will look good and i can just keep it so we'll just try that get that started all right so let's see we'll place a few of those blocks and then i would like to put some glass on the inside of this so let's just have a big old wall of glass running down through here let me just go ahead and do my uh let's do my wand here get that out can't can't be uh doing world edit without the wand all right, so let's put in like, uh, I believe it's 20. It's gonna be our glass block. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up a little three by two. That'll work. Get the rest of this filled in right up here just so it's nice and connected. And we'll go from there. All right, so we'll have that. And then I wanna grab my acacia fences, which are just fantastic. Put a few of these in one block away from the door and one block away from the edge. It's amazing how if you put like two of them next to each other, it just completely changes. But having these things work as pillars, magic. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll do that right now. It kind of looks like a face. It looks like a man with a mustache. Oh my God, I'm never gonna unsee that. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab some anvils as well. And let's go ahead and grab some bushes. We just actually typed in bushes. We need to type in the proper terminology which is leaves so let's get some uh danville's anvils built here i think this would probably be a pretty nice spot for him matches that green color really nicely and this is a good biome for those oak leaves holy moly those look good yeah it definitely looks like a face it looks like the pringles man kind of if he was having a bad day for sure <laughs> all right so let's uh let's go back inside here um let's actually just go in this door since this is pretty much what we're working on right here so, um, I want to get this room finished right now. So, let's do that. First off, what we need to do is get the rest of this floor built out of this beautiful andesite. Lovely block. Get this all built. There we go. And we'll take this across. So, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of CLD. Sorry about the delay. It's been a few days since the last one. I was First off, I was sick this week a little bit. So... You know, it's not like a, it's not a complete excuse to not make videos, but I didn't, I didn't, it's just, I was really not feeling well. So I was just like, do I really want to like make videos and sound like crap in them? Nah, I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just going to get better and then get back to the grind. That's what I did. Feeling better though. Um, yeah, I had a pretty bad stomach bug. So I was, you know, you guys know what, what happens when you have a stomach bug. So I don't think I need to go into too much detail, but it was, it was unpleasant not did not uh have a very good last couple days but it's all right we're better now back to the grind and we're working on this building which is coming together really well so far pretty happy with the progress um let's go ahead and get this right here is our position one we'll fill in some of these walls doing the logistics of this stuff first is just like what we got to do you know it's clutch get it get it out of the way and I, the, the entire, like, lower level of this thing is going to be shops and things like that. Maybe even a supermarket. I don't know yet. Plenty of space right here, though. Re extremely tall ceiling. I think I'll probably actually have some something hanging down from that. Yeah, we'll work on that in just a second. Can't just leave that the way it is. That's not going to be 
acceptable. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll take this up to there. Get Use the world edit. Use the power. The power within to get all of this stuff filled in. And in between this space here, I guess I can just go like like this, right? Should we leave those? Uh, should we leave that little quartz there? I kind of like it, actually. And I'm wondering... I might even follow the pattern and do it right there as well. Little quartz above and below the window. I like it. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and get some more stuff here. Let's get some iron bars. Let's get some of that glowstone. Gotta love the glowstone. Uh, let's get some some banners. Let's go with um, what color? Should we go with the green banners to match the outside? That could be the green that we need. And um, let's go with some iron trap doors as well. We'll go with those three. My mouse is glitching out a little bit. We gotta, I gotta clean the bottom of it probably. It's not quite, the tracker is not uh, quite working. All right. Uh, let's go like three blocks down, two glowstones. Is that far enough down? I'm thinking even further, maybe even like five blocks down. Do the glowstones right, whoops. Do the glowstones right here. And then maybe even do three glowstones. Like, uh, like this. Um, yeah, that looks good. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So that's eight blocks high total. So that's one. And if we want to do another one right here, whoops, that's not the right uh, material. We need iron bars for that. Although I think that would look just fine with the acacia fences, but we will use the iron bars because we did it over there. All right, so we have two of these. And let's see, this is going to... Oh, this is actually two blocks away from the wall. Whoops. All right, well, we can easy fix. So I'm thinking that just kind of like trying to section things off a little bit, I guess, is my thought process here. So basically... In theory, this right here would be like a section. So it would be two blocks away from there as the same it is two blocks away from this wall over here, right? Kind of see what I'm... See what my uh, my thought process is with that. Okay. And then I'm thinking, should we have one more in the middle here? Only if it's symmetrical. If not, I'm all right with it being just two. Uh, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Symmetrical. Perfect. Everything is running great. This is why we do this stuff at the beginning, before the detail. Now we can really make sure that everything's coming together nicely. So here's my next idea. What if we did some banners like this, just to kind of give it some detail and put some trap doors below it, and that would be our light light fixtures. I think they look pretty interesting, honestly. I'm, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with these colored light fixtures, I guess. Not really colored, but... It's kind of like a lampshade is my thought on this. So that's why we're doing it. Just like a... It looks like a nice design. It fits the sandstone well. We didn't do it on that that side there. Make sure every side is covered. Looks like it. What do you think about those as our lights? I honestly think those look really cool hanging down from the ceiling. So we'll go with that. Especially with this such a narrow hallway here. It's important that we get as much detail as we can into this. I hear like a sheep or something just going crazy down here. Like what is the deal? Oh my god, the damn animals, man. They won't they just they won't shut up. So over here in this corner, I'm thinking maybe just a reception desk. We don't even really need a reception desk. I might just put like a Oh, you know what? I want to say that I put like a couch or something. Let's do a uh, speed 5. Let's let's zoom on over here. This is really what I'm getting the main inspiration from is uh this right here. This is pretty much the same exact thing that we're doing right now. Oh, you know what? We did a full glass wall there. Huh, I really like that, actually. I think I might replicate that. We'll, uh, we'll re-add that. So, yeah, pretty much just put, like, a Danville's Anvil in that corner. So this is basically what we're doing right here. Just doing it again. I also like how the last couple blocks in the bottom here are cobblestone. I might try to do something like that as well. Let's fly back over here. Let's, uh, let's implement some of these changes. Okay, so if we want to do something like that, let's just, uh, I'll humor myself here. What if we did uh, sand? Just, uh, well, I still haven't changed the gravity on that. Sand, maybe? I don't really like the sand, honestly. What about just like 24? Ooh, I like that. I think that looks good. That's um, that's just regular sandstone, which is a really nice looking block. I should probably start using that a little bit more, huh? 
All right, so let's just do the first couple blocks in the bottom as sandstone. That'll be a nice touch. This sheep is driving me insane. I might have to execute this sheep. It's really bothering me. I hate to do it, but he just, he won't stop. He's making a racket on the video. Like, come on now. Show some respect. I let you live in this city for free. All right, so that looks a lot better. Maybe even three blocks up. I think I'll go with two for now. Okay. You know what? I'm cutting the video. You don't get, you guys don't need to know what's going to happen. Man, it is a lot quieter now. I wonder what happened. All right, anyway. Uh, let's do one more of these. Whoa. We are, we are still on, like, super speed. Jeez Louise. Let's go back to speed one. Let's do one more of these lights here. Uh, we'll do it right there. Sure. Sure, why not? We'll go down five and place three glowstones. And we'll place a trap door. And then we'll get our banners. Fantastic. I was originally going to just do two. That way we only needed one banner on each side. But I kind of like the two banners. So we'll go with it. Okay, so this is pretty much good in here. Uh, I'll fill whatever I'm going to add there later. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I, I do think I am going to sneak in some Danville's anvils, actually. So let's do that real quick. Put one of those up against the walls on each side here. We'll sneak those in. And then as far as the, um, the staircase here, do we want to put a... A potential glass wall here i'm thinking about it i really am um we actually have to go up manually because of the way the, the staircase worked here so we'd have to run it up to about right here so let's just i'll i'll, uh, I'll try it out we'll see how it works we'll see how it looks let's go to like right there and we'll just do a set 20 see what happens what 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 i do wrong illegal command oh that's because i typed in I typed in wrong again <laughs> Come on. No, not sir. Sir 20. Oh, that looks cool. What do you think, guys? Should we go should we do that? Leave that? You can't you can't tell me directly cuz we're not live, but we got 3 there and then one away from there. I honestly I really like that. I'm going with it. We're leaving it. It opens up the space a little bit even though it doesn't, you know what I mean? So that's cool. And I like the way it looks with the staircase going up. I think that's really cool. Okay, sweet. So we'll leave that for sure. And that pretty much concludes this downstairs part. So let's go uh, up to the next level here and let's actually, um, you know, get this walls built, you know, the rest of the way up. Okay, so basically what we want to be doing here is, I guess this is going to go all the way up. So well, we'll just, we'll do it one row at a time. How about that? Okay, so let's go ahead and take that across there. And we'll continue the glass all the way through, I think. Okay, so I'm going to try to stack this. So that means that I'm going to do the detail on the first level. And then we can run it all the way through. So let's do that. And this is going to be two blocks tall of regular sandstone. Okay. Around the corner here. That elevator is in the perfect spot. Okay, and now we want to, I guess, take this up to right here, I think. I think. Hold on. How are we doing this? Um, oh, interesting. Um, we don't need this. I don't know why that's even there. We don't need it. Oh, oh that's why it was there, because we were lining up the spot. Uh, okay. All right, that's fine. So let's actually just run this around the corner here. It'll help us line it up better. So that'll go straight through. And then we can follow this through as well. Might as well just get all this filled in while we're at it. Just so it's nice and straight right across. Same thing goes for the ceiling below. Which we're just using white concrete for. This corner spot here. Not really sure what we're doing with this. So I'll just fill it in. Okay. It might get double stacked or something. It might get walled off later. Not 100% sure at this point. So uh, on the back end here, let's just get the rest of this filled in like that. And then I guess we're doing glass. So let's grab some glass. First page. There we go. Boom. So we'll do a nice glass wall here. Just regular clear glass. You know, we've been using this glass since the beginning, but it looks way better now because of Optifine and this texture pack. All right. So now I think we can just stack this up. And um, if I do this right, I think we can just go to here to here. Oh, you know what I should also do? Um, we should get a door. 
Because we can we can literally do everything with stack. Okay, so let's place the door backwards like that. Um, before we proceed, let's confirm what kind of door we did down there. Can I spot it with my little eye here? Is it an oak door? Yeah, it is. Okay, while we're at it, we can also pick block the quartz. Zoom back up. All right. Place the quartz upside down. Okay, so let's grab um, that block as our position one. And we'll board that back up. And our position two will be uh, this block. All right, here goes nothing. Let's stack one just to see if we did it right. Um, that looks that looks good. That that looks that looks about accurate. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, let's stack it up even further. Then let's do a stack seven, stack six. There we go. Yeah, stack seven's too far. All right, there we go. So now the hallways for each one of these is done. It's beautiful, man. It's a thing of beauty that just being able to stack it up like that. I am gonna keep the um. The glass panes that run right up the middle of the staircases. I think that looks really good. It's just like you can kind of see into it a little bit, but it's mostly covered. I love it. Okay, so um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the ceilings filled in for one floor. Since uh, this is technically the first floor right here, um, I want to try to get the ceilings built for this floor. That way we can kind of just get the um, the floor plan built for it. Uh, you know what? Since we have the natural light on our side, it's probably better if we actually just build it, uh, build the floor plan first, and then we can do the rest of it later. Just making sure that I have all the, uh, the floors built in on every side here. We have a couple spots missing. Get that filled in there. All right, cool. Um, all right, so two things. One is the double stack. That's the most important thing here. Um... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this right across here. I'm gonna leave a space open there, and this can just be kind of a utilities closet in the hallway. It, it can be whatever you guys imagine it to be. Um, and let's go ahead and get a, uh, let's just use white concrete. And let's just, we'll use this as a double stack block for now. Since all these walls are gonna get double stacked, I'm actually, all these little like gaps in here, we're not even gonna, account for those we're just gonna simply cover them up uh they can be spots for fireplaces potentially which i think could be a pretty good option um but i probably won't end up using fireplaces for this build so maybe not all right yeah same thing with these corners we're just gonna we're just gonna basically pretend like they're not there and pretend like this thing is completely rectangular and and flush on the interior i guess all right so we'll run that down to there and across here again so we're basically just making a big box. The only parts where it kind of connects where we don't want it to is right there. So we're going to have to account for that. So let's just run this down. Get this all filled in here. Right up against it so I can block my body so it doesn't place the extra block. And run it down right here. Connect it back to there. Okay. So that's great. All right. Next thing we want to do is create a hallway for the apartments, right? Since each one of these floors is gonna have a set amount of apartments, which has been undetermined at this point. So now we have to actually figure out how many apartments there are going to be, because I'm not sure. I was thinking about just running a hallway right down the middle of the building, but I think that just uses too much space. I think we would it'd be better off used in a different way. So here's what I'm thinking. We're not going to do a hallway that goes straight through, more like halfway through. So let's get started. I'm going to run this down, and we'll stop it halfway through the build. So it's going to be about right there. And this is four blocks across here, so let's just stop it at the beginning of this. So we'll go there. All right, and we'll run a wall down through here. Um, we'll go straight in the middle of these two windows. How about that? That probably makes the most sense, right? Okay, and I'll probably just have like a three block opening there. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We'll make it the same as the elevator. There we go, like that, cool. So we'll have one apartment right here that the opening to it will be right there. Apart apartment, number apartment number one, right across from the closet there. Okay, apartment number two, right here next to the elevator. In fact, we could probably put that in the middle there, make that symmetrical. 
So let's just wall off some space. Let's just take this space and wall this off. So let's just say that whole area is apartment, uh, an apartment building. That works perfectly. All right. We'll run this down here. And we will have another one that will run across here. Like this. So we've kind of walled it off. Apartment and apartment. Two apartments right there. One's bigger than the other. This one might be too small. So we might have to push this one back a little bit further. But that's okay. We have plenty of space to make adjustments. All right. So um, next thing we want to do, have two apartments like that. So I will run a wall right down the middle of this. Straight down. It'll connect nice and symmetrical straight through the middle of the building. Apartment three, apartment four. As a matter of fact, let's uh, let's be a little bit more fair to these people. Let's give them a little bit of extra space here. Um, I'm trying to decide exactly how I want to do this. Here's what here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go from here instead. We'll give them a little bit of extra space. So in the uh, the hallway, we'll run to this spot instead. Okay, so we'll just. That way, the, the uh, sizes are a little bit more fair here. Although, you know, it's not really about fairness. Because if you pay for a bigger apartment, then you'll get a bigger apartment, you know what I mean? But still, it's just about... We're doing it about the architecture right now. Okay, so let's uh, open this up here. So now that gives us four apartments on each floor. One, two, three, four. And of course, each one of those will have their own individual floor plans. Um, those two being the same size, that one being a little bit bigger than that one, but that's fine. So that's basically going to be our high level layout for every floor. I think that looks pretty solid, honestly. Um, of course the interior of these apartments is, is to be determined. I might even do something like this and have this window be a part of that one. I don't know, maybe not, because I do really like the way that window just kind of is a part of that building. The window has actually worked out really good though. They're really not. We don't have to make any changes to the windows. They look fine. All right, that's cool. All right, so next thing we got to do is... Wait, well, we, we actually are making some good progress here. What, what is the next thing we're going to do? Fill in the wall, or fill in the ceilings going across here. Okay, so this part here, I guess we'll just kind of snake around this corner. And I guess we'll just get this all filled in here, although it's probably just going to be covered up anyway, so it won't matter too much. But we'll just get a, uh, an idea of what one of these floors is going to look like right now. So what's this block right here? This is going to be 251. Okay. And we'll go straight down to the other side over here. Go to this block right there. And get this filled in. All the way down to the other side. This is going to be a little bit of a lag spike. Be prepared. Although it doesn't matter to you guys. But for me, I'll prepare myself. A little bit of a spike. Oh, actually, it was really smooth. Never mind. Uh, one thing, though. This should be... This is going to be peeking out to the outside. So we... Ooh, we're actually on two levels here. Wait, hold on. I think we might have we might have messed this up. Um, mm, it doesn't matter, honestly, because we're just going to cover it up anyway. So We did mess up, but it doesn't matter. Because we we're just going to change this anyway to 5-1. All right, there we go. Sweet. So then basically we're just rinsing repeat from one level to the next and I can stack all these. So what I'm probably going to do is furnish the first floor um, of one of them and then just stack them up because, you know, that's definitely the way better way to do it instead of furnishing them all and then copy and pasting or even just furnishing them all and doing each one by hand like I used to do on 360, which thinking of that now gives me a little bit of a nightmare. Holy moly. We grounded it out on CLD season one. We really did. All right, so let's, let's just get these little corners filled in. Doesn't It's not going to matter at all since it's going to be just empty space, but we'll get them filled in just for the sake of filling them in, I guess. All right, cool. So uh, let me actually just drop down here. We'll, we'll go through the staircase, which is done, down to the previous level, which has nasty lighting defects right now, but this is essentially what it's going to look like. We have seven block tall ceilings in here, which is really nice. Honestly, this, is a pr this apartment building is coming together really nicely. I... Pretty happy about it. All right, guys. Uh, let me go fly outside here. I kind of want to see the what the way this looks on the exterior. But this is fantastic stuff. Let's see. 
So once the, um, you know, it, skyscrapers, like even like houses, once you kind of get the interior built and you can kind of see inside and see that there's, in, you know, there's something inside of it. It's not just a shell. It just makes the build that much better. I'm really not 100% sure what we're going to be doing with the, uh, the bottom parts just yet. I, I actually just don't know. You know, I'm still trying to figure that part out. I know it's going to be some sort of uh, business, but what kind of business it's going to be, I'm not sure yet. So we're not going to have any time to work on the penthouse today, guys. Um, but I am going to just try to do a little bit of detailing real quick before we end the video. And I'm going to do some slabs and some stairs just to try some things out. Because I definitely wanted to, to do something with these walls just so they're not completely flat. And I'm, I'm just going to try some things out. See what works and what doesn't. I was thinking about something like that and running that up all the way through. So I guess that would go to um, this block right here. So if I did this to there and then broke that block and then did like a stack 10 or something or a stack five, something like that. Honestly, it's really hard to tell from that angle, but honestly, something like that I think could work pretty nicely. We could do that. We could do that on both sides. And then in the middle here, I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe some extra slabs running across like this could work. And we could have that go up. But I actually kind of like this one being flat. So maybe we'll just do it on both sides. Yeah, I'll try it on this side as well, see how it looks. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I really, I know it's a lot of sandstone. Maybe we can use uh, a different color for this even. But kind of like the sandstone honestly i know it's a lot but i kind of like it okay so we'll stack five this as well get a, get a kind of a step back and look at this so just a little bit of detail to add maybe we can put some danville's anvils up there as well but i think that's pretty solid all right guys we're making some pretty good progress on this build thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it. i'm going to continue working on this one probably next episode maybe one or two more episodes in this build before we move on to something else but uh, I lo I'm loving this building so far. It's coming together nicely. I think we're building it the right way, too, in terms of the order of operations. So, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Lanx. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Guys, I haven't done a question of the day in the last three or four episodes. Just taking a break from that segment. We're going to get back to that pretty soon. Just wanted to focus on the builds these last couple episodes. So, uh, hopefully you guys understand with that. Doesn't, do doesn't mean you can't leave questions. I will still be accumulating them for future episodes. So, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy this episode of CLD. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.